guys. Got another great workout for you today. It's going to be five exercises, three rounds. I'm going to be doing 20 reps. Uh, I want you to remember that your objective is to get through this whole workout without as fast as possible while keeping your form in check. Only take the breaks when you need to take them and then jump right back in. Okay, our first exercise today is going to be a goblet squat. Here we go. Grab your weights. Okay, you want your feet a little wider than shoulder length apart, toes pointed out. This is going to be a version of a goblet squat. We're going to use both dumbbells. Support the dumbbells with your arms, your biceps though. So you want tension on your biceps the whole time. Okay, looking up. Squat down into it on your heels. Press back up. You're really going to feel this in your glutes. Alright, beginners just lighten up on the weight. Here we go. Feel this in your arms. Definitely. All right. Next thing we're doing is quick switch push-ups. So no weights on these. You're gonna have to do them off the ground. Beginners, you could do them on the knees. We're gonna start like this. Your hands offset. Come down. When you come up, jump to the next position. Okay. You're gonna alternate in between this. Okay, for the regular one, we'll get in the push-up position. Same thing's gonna happen. It's a plyo type movement. If you don't have the power to spring up and change, when you get to the top, switch your hand position and then do another push-up. All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna do the crab toe touch. Okay, you wanna get back in the crab walk position. Okay, you're gonna to touch your left hand to your right toe. When you come up and you're pushing up, tighten up, really come up into a bridge position. Okay, so it's gonna be like this. Really tighten your core and your back. So here we go. Doing 40 of these. I want to do 20 each side. Thing we're doing sidewinder squat thrusts okay so you're going to get into the plank position again okay beginners just we're gonna be thrusting up as far as you can knees up to elbow just do as far as you can come up okay beginner so if it's only like that that's fine okay 
the regular move though, you're gonna you're gonna bring your knees up to try to touch your elbows on the outside of your elbow. All right, let's go. Take a little break there. These things will get to you. All right, back in. All right, 20. All right, last thing, we got the Y press. You're gonna grab your weights. Okay, weights down in between your legs, between your feet. Your legs a little wider and shoulder. You're gonna squat down, grab the weights, and you're gonna clean the weight up to this position. And when you press, focus on making a Y. Out and hold it. So stabilize your core and press it out. All right, let's go. Got 20. Alright guys, that's one round. I'm going to walk you through the exercise and what worked. Uh, we started with the goblet squat. It was a version of the goblet squat. So what I want you to remember there is hold it. When you support the weight, hold it with your biceps. So you're coming down and you're just holding the weight, keeping your back straight, looking up. Good for and pushing off your heels. Focus on your arms as well. So again, you're going to hit your quads, glutes, hamstrings, and your biceps. Quick switch push up. That was hitting our chest, uh, shoulders, tries, and we had a plyo movement in there. It's going to give you really good explosive strength, okay? Crab toe touch looks crazy, but I'll tell you what, it's great. Works your full core, and when you do the press up, it really works your glute and your hamstring and your lower back. And, and as you come up, you're really bringing your core together. So it's definitely an overall core movement. Sidewinder squat thrust again. That really hits everything, okay? It hits chest, tri shoulders, and then when we're sidewindering up, you're hitting the whole core, you're hitting your legs. Great overall body movement. It's kind of like a burpee, just a different version. The wide press, we hit our legs, quads, you know, quads, hamstrings, glutes, and pressing out, you're really going to feel that on your shoulders. Your back and your core has to stabilize you. You know, focus on that press out when you come up and you will really feel it in your shoulders and traps. Okay, you guys got two more rounds to go. Push as hard as you can. Don't stop. Okay, the thing I want you to remember, these workouts are super intense and when you complete them, don't ruin your day by eating wrong, okay? That's like 80% of the battle. Make sure you make good food choices today. Stay clean on your diet. And I'll see you guys at the next workout.